morning Calvary family and uh, welcome to our 28th day of shelter in place but uh, more than that <clears throat> I wanted to think a little bit today about it being Monday uh, the day after Easter we don't typically gather for uh, several days until after a celebration of Easter but I wanted to think a little bit this morning about um, what the disciples were going through um, Christ has risen on Easter Sunday he, he has appeared to Mary and Martha, he's appeared to the two men on the road to Emmaus, he has appeared to his disciples. <clears throat> if you read, especially at the end of Luke and the end of the book of John, you read a little bit more about the details uh, that are going on. But uh, there is a, a, a time where Jesus is kind of in and out of the disciples' lives. Uh, the time from the resurrection to the day of Pentecost is about 40 days or so. And uh, there's a number of things that are going on during that time. You find the disciples initially, they're locked uh, up in a room. Uh, you can imagine in Jerusalem all the chaos that's going on with Jesus having been crucified, uh, now resurrected, a lot of rumors uh, going around. Uh, imagine if they had social media, all the different ideas about what happened to Jesus might be showing up on their uh, feeds. But uh, the disciples are afraid. They're probably afraid still that they're going to be blamed that they may still be arrested, that they'll be associated with Jesus, and they're still uncertain about all that is going on. We definitely have the privilege of knowing the whole story, but they don't know the story. It's still unfolding for them. And they're together in the nighttime, the day of his resurrection. They're still not certain. Some rumors about him having resurrected, and then Jesus appears to them. Uh, over the next uh, bit of time, he appears to Thomas and the disciples again, about eight days later. The Bible talks about how they've returned to fishing and uh, Jesus shows up there and they fished all night and caught no, no fish and uh, Jesus says, cast your net on the other side and they catch a huge number of fish and then he prepares a meal for them, speaks with Peter and then eventually ascends into heaven telling them to wait for the coming of the Holy Spirit. Quite a number of events, the resurrection for them was not the end but uh, it was really the time for big change. During this time, Jesus actually breathes on them and says, Receive the Holy Spirit, the promise of the Holy Spirit that is coming, that we now get to experience at the moment of salvation as well. Just a lot of great things. I, I want to encourage you to go back and read again the end uh, of John, especially. A lot of great things that are taking place there. And try to enter into what the disciples are feeling and uh, what they're going through as well. We do continue to pray for you. We look forward to seeing you throughout the week as well. Uh, through these connections as well as through Food Pantry. We definitely are keeping you in prayer. If we can do anything, be sure to let us know. And I uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again soon.